right on our own to take over.
one elected representative, so that he will serve as their rep over there. So that is, those are the constituencies. When you go to Nigeria like this, they have federal constituency, they have federal senatorial constituency, and then they have state constituencies. Because, taking for instance, Volta region can be an entire state in Nigeria, and they have a house of assembly. Then in that constituency as well, that can be seen as a federal representative, uh, let's say a federal constituency where a member of their house of representatives will be elected. Then about three of that are then to make one senatorial constituency so that they will elect a senator for their senate. When we get there, I'll show their chamber. So basically that is it. So a legislature is the representation of the entire population. So you see, the entire of Ghana cannot be in parliament to take a decision. The entire of NTC cannot sit here to take a decision. That is why we need for just a selected few to represent them to take decisions on their behalf. Don't forget, it is the entire population that elects the president. So due to that, if someone will take a president out, it should be the entire population. But they can't do that. That is why parliament is being designated to do that. And that makes parliament the highest court of the land. The highest court of the land is not the Supreme Court. No! Supreme Court cannot remove the president. The president was elected by the people. It's for the people. So if people, if the president should be removed, it has to be removed by the people. And who are the people in a small environment? Parliament. So it is parliament that starts impeachment to see up to you the president and it ends in parliament. When you go to the UK, impeachment article starts in the House of Representatives and ends in the Senate. However, the Senate of US is chaired by the Vice President. In that case, the Chief Justice presides over Senate cities. So that will be fairness, because of course Vice President is the loyalty president. So he obviously has an interest. So that is why Parliament is the highest court of the land, and not the Supreme Court. So, Chambers, I stated that Parliament is just a name. So let's get to know other names. But before we get to know the other names, uh, you, you see, Nigeria, you, 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 have, you actually have been talking about a lot of Chambers. We have been mentioning Senate, we have been mentioning House of Assembly, and then um, how um, all that uh, uh, will get there? It is because they have a bicameral legislation. A bicameral legislation is a legislation that has the two houses, the two chambers, an upper chamber and a lower chamber. And in the camera is just one. What happens is that when it's in the camera, that house performs all the legislative functions of parliament. But when they are two, the upper house says that's not a supervisory house. But money brings a mandate always from the lower house. So the lower house takes decisions and then it gets to the upper house for final approval. So those are by camera and then it's the, the by camera, then there's the camera in the future. So let's get to know more of countries where they have the camera legislature. An example is uh, Ghana. We have a unicameral legislature. Our parliament is only one chamber. So when parliament takes a decision, it says that it is basically the highest decision making body of the republic. When we go to Uganda, Sierra Leone, Finland, Sri Lanka, Lebanon, they also call their legislature parliament. That is the term that they use. If you go to Angola, Benin, Burkina Faso, the Gambia, Malawi, uh, Hungary, Tanzania, uh, Vietnam, they call their Nikama legislature National Assembly. And then elsewhere, they also have their technology. So if you get to a country and then you don't see parliament, it doesn't mean they don't have the legislature. They have, but in a view of a different view. Okay. Now,
presided over by a speaker of the National Assembly. Please, you can't say speaker of parliament of the National Assembly. No, it's just speaker of National Assembly. So that is the term that they are using. So uh, sometimes I hear some student parliaments, uh, their name will be national, their name will be general assembly. Then they will say speaker of parliament of the general assembly. No, it's like you understand. Yeah. So the speaker of the national assembly of the Republic of Tanzania. What is the composition of this house? 264 members elected from a single member constituency who win by first past the post. First past the post is simple majority. You see, single member constituencies or districts. Have you ever asked why we don't have deputy MPs? It's because the constituency is a single member constituency. That cannot be two representatives. We have double member constituencies. When you go to the Senate of the United States, it's a double member senatorial constituency because they must have a man and a woman elected yeah. to represent that state. So that is a double member constituency. So take note. But in that case, the second person is not a deputy senator. They are all senators. But you can just say maybe first senator or no senator and female senator. You understand? So 264 members elected from single member constituencies. Then we have 113 women only constituencies. So this is a different type of constituency that maybe they'll add about three of them from here will make one. Three will make one. To ensure that there is a fair representation of females in that parliament. Then we have five members elected indirectly from the Zanzibar House of Representatives. The Attorney General is an automatic member of the House. And ten persons are appointed by the President of the Republic of Tanzania, summing up to 393. They make up this House. So it is not always that hot. They must be MPs, like they must be elected. Some are appointed. Let me take you to Kenya. When you go to the National Assembly of Kenya, they, are you aware that they have a representative of the youth? They have a, a, a number of people that are elected as representatives of the disabled. So we have people that must be appointed to represent disabled people. And they are disabled and they are in the parliament of uh, Kenya, both the Senate and the National Assembly. So their composition differs. That is how we go to the House Parliament. It is not only classrooms that are there. We even have for, uh, committee chairpersons. We have um, faculty coordinators and then when you come to HCD, the composition is faculty coordinators in general assembly. Class reps, and they have 16 representatives of class reps because they form a board and then 16 of them are part. We have presidents of uh, the departmental associations of main part, secretaries of the boards of the SRC, and then hot, and then some other three. So parliament does not necessarily have to be elected people because the chairpersons are appointed by the president. So all we want is a representation, like the composition is quite unique everywhere. So when you come to the National Assembly of Tanzania, this is all you have. So your SRC can equally have other uh, student uh, office holders who will be part of it. When a man of things the board, we speak more that and give some advice and that. And you see this arrangement, you see it's different from our parliament, parliament of now, it's just different. This arrangement is called the horseshoe sitting arrangement. You see how you are seated? We call this the classroom arrangement. We have the arc arrangement, we have the semi circle, we have um, opposing benches. In the youth impact parliament, we use proposing measures. I'll show you all this. So that is it about the National Assembly of the Republic of Tanzania. The speaker as well. As you can see, the speaker is elevated and he's in his room. And he has three clerks. So a clerk and then two deputies. So they say. And then this is what we actually call these two the dispatch boxes. That is where the ministers, when we get to the picture of the Yangon Chimba, I think I'll speak more on that. But they have their base also over there. 
when we get there, whoever will speak from the midst will also give you an elaborate presentation of that. So now, by common legislation, you can see some names over here. When you go to Argentina, Brazil, Chile, Italy, uh, Paraguay, they call their legislature National Congress. And it's a two chamber house. So the Senate has upper and chamber of deputies has lower. When you go to Australia, Nigeria, United States, the Philippines, Thailand, Jamaica, etc., they have the upper house as Senate and then the lower house as House of Representatives. When you go to Pakistan, Lesotho, Cameroon, 